<laughs> you're playing your game, everything's great, and pfft, orange screen of death, you cannot do anything. My controllers won't even connect to this thing. It's kind of a big problem. You gotta get your hands on a tri-star screwdriver, links in the description. You gotta pop the back off, then unplug the battery before this thing will stop displaying orange, and then we've gotta actually do the fix. Oh, by the way, you'll wanna stick around to the very end because I have a trick to make it so this never happens again. All right, so this is the fix. We got to find the wireless chip. Now it's underneath this RAM chip. So you gotta pry up. It's not that hard. You gotta be careful not to bend things too out of place, but the tin should pop off. You wanna also make sure you're getting the back end of the ribbon and it should all come up quite easy. Now the big old shiny thing down there is your Wi-Fi chip. And that's what we gotta reflow. All of the pain is coming from this area right here. The reasons why we're having issues is because the Wi-Fi chip has overheated and a solder has cracked or broken. We got to get the solder solder redone around that thing. So we're gonna grab a soldering air gun. Links in the description, guys. So I jacked mine to max airflow at about 450 Celsius, and you just sit here. You wave it around, you make sure the heat kind of saturates around the chip so you're not bending the PCB too much, or maybe you're heating one side of a component too much than the other side and it cracks. You just gotta keep it moving, but you gotta sit here for like literally five minutes. It'll hopefully get that solder just a little bit melted, and then it will fill in all of the cracks that are causing your orange screen to happen. Flowing is done, we're gonna have to wait for it to cool down. Do not put this in the freezer, do not put this in the fridge, you could cause more damage. What you wanna do at max is blow a fan on it. It'll only take 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes for everything to come back down to normal. In the meantime, we can repaste our heat sink. It's a very good idea, you're in here, you might as well do it. Plus, our original problem was from heat, so let's get as much heat as we possibly can out of this thing as efficiently as possible. Warning, before you pop this off, you will need thermal paste. You cannot have a substitute for thermal paste. Toothpaste does not work. So get your hands on this stuff before you pop it off. Now that you're in there, you're gonna wanna take all the old paste off. The old paste is crunchy, it's a mess. Wanna get it off and we're gonna clean it. Wanna clean it with rubbing alcohol. You can use alcohol wipes. You can use rubbing alcohol in a Q-tip, which is what I use here. Just make sure as much as possible, all of this crap is off of here. Cause we need to put new stuff on and we need to make it nice and tight. We'll just apply small beads of it. We don't need too much. And then we're gonna screw everything down nice and tight. Pop the RAM chip and the cover back on the Wi-Fi chip. Make sure everything's pressed down firmly. We wanna start by bending in the tin backing so that it presses more tightly up against the heat sink. Then we're gonna put a gob of thermal paste and press it all down tightly. The tin backing acts as a massive heat sink, which will also pull heat away from everywhere else. As you're pressing all this in, you're gonna have to make sure your SD card plug holder is connected properly. This one is a bit finicky. It's gonna take you a few minutes to get it right. I've been running this thing for three months, testing it out. This thing works great. I left the back off and it's been doing me wonders, okay? So with the back off, you get immediate heat release. It doesn't have to go through the back panel. If you're docked all the time, just leave the back off. It's so much better, so much easier on the hardware, heat-wise. I definitely run this all the time with the back off. 